And so I have another question, All and this right. might get into a uh, spoilery territory. There's Be warned. There's always Be posts. aware. <laughs> um, spoiler warning. Um, there's there's a lot of movies. Most movies nowadays they sort of end. They wrap things up in a nice neat bow. Or if you're planning for a franchise and there's a cliffhanger but you know it's going to be resolved by next movie mm. but there's some movies that just stand alone and they end on a note where you're not sure what's happening you're not sure what's going to happen to these people and the movie doesn't want you to know they want you to question it so my next question is what are some movies that you can think of that have that ambiguous ending and do they work do you did you like them what's Maybe, what do you think happened to these people? That's a good one. Well, I, I have one. I um, There are a lot, but my favorite absolutely is this movie, Two Lovers, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Gwyneth Paltrow. The, the premise is he's, uh, he's uh, having affairs with two different women at once, with Gwyneth Paltrow and then this other woman played by Vanessa Shaw. At the end, he decides he's gonna run away with Gwyneth Paltrow, and uh, and he uh, he uh, he like he's even gonna propose to her, and uh, and he like you know buys the ring and everything. But she shows up and tells him, "Sorry, I'm not going with you. I changed my mind." So then he goes upstairs and gives the ring to Vanessa Shaw and asks her to marry him, and she says yes. <laughs> And the movie, and that's how both the movie ends. Huh. Oh. And it's a uh, like I, 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 I love that ending for so many reasons. Like first of all, it's like some endings like that I think are a little irritating. This one isn't because the movie like offers a a really complete character arc. You know, you start out in the beginning with him being this guy who's a mess. He's suicidal. He's crazy. And then at the end, you know, he's She's trying to get married to two different women. So he's definitely gone somewhere. You don't feel Aww. like it's like, oh, you know, back where he started. But I also like it because there are, like, a couple different interpretations. Uh, some people, I think even the director said that he thought it was a coming-of-age story, which indicates that, oh, he made the right choice. You know, he, he chose, you know, the person who wanted to be with him. I don't subscribe to that interpretation at all. <laughs> I completely disagree. I think that he he makes that choice simply because he wants to be with someone, and at this point he's given up on finding you know the person who's really right for him. And it's like you know, oh, you know, I didn't go get rid of Paltrow. Vanessa Shaw will do. You know, so he's taking the easy way out. Exactly. Yeah. And so I think that uh, what happens to him is that you know. He's gonna live sort of, uh, he's either gonna like go crazy again or he's gonna live a boring, stable life and his pain will sort of float under the surface of society unbeknownst to everyone else. And, and I, 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 I really like that ending just because, you know, I mean, you, you, you know, my personal interpretation aside, you really don't know. You know, I mean, like, there's a, I think you could discuss it for years and, you know, yeah. could go on. But, yeah. Best thing about the U.S. endings. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think mine would probably be an ending to The Godfather. Ooh. Ignoring oh, the second and the oh, third part, yeah. just the ending to the first Godfather would adore. Don Corleone. Yeah, would adore. Don't ask me about my business. Yeah. <laughs> and then when George just kind of closes on him at the end, like, it's just... That was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite endings. And I guess it's ambiguous and not really ambiguous. It's kind of know what's happening when it's like still pretty ambiguous, I feel like. Because, I mean, what if he's talking about ice cream behind the door? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's really good. Like, like, hey guys, I really want orange cream. <laughs> this is what we're doing. But <laughs> Maybe he was planning to donate some money to UNICEF. You know? <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the US in that way, but it's like, you kind of know what's happening, and then you don't want to know, I guess, in a way. But you don't want to know how far involved with the family business yeah, he's become. Yeah, 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 but it's like, you see this guy grow from like this kind of innocent boy almost in the beginning, and then kind of take his family business over at the end, and becoming the Don at the end. It's fascinating, because yeah. at the beginning, you don't believe that he 
has that kind it. of cruelty in it. He doesn't leave it, it himself know? either. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the end, it's like, oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> but that's definitely one of my favorites. Um, on the line of gangster movies, I'm going to go with one of my favorites ever, uh, In Bruges. Ooh. Um, it's like, the movie, the theme of the movie is guilt. It's, if you've done wrong, how do you handle that? Do, they, do you punch yourself for it, or do you try to make it right somehow? Mm -hmm. And the main character is, the main character, Ray, uh, played by Colin Farrell, he's a hitman who, on his first assignment, accidentally kills a kid. Mm. And he, his boss sends him out of London to hide out in Bruges. And basically, we find out that his boss just wants him to have, what, thinks Bruges is wonderful, and wants Ray to have one last moment of happiness before he gets killed. <laughs> because he killed a kid, and you don't get to walk away from that. Wow. And the, the end, and at the end, it becomes a big, Thing because Ray's friend decides to let him go, the boss comes to Bruges, there's a gunfight, there's a chase all over the city, and in the end, uh, Ray's friend is dead, his boss is dead, and Ray has been shot, and he's being carried away in an ambulance, and Colin Farrell gives this monologue where it's, if I, li if I live through this, I'm going to go back to London, I'm going to find that boy's mother, and I'm going to tell her what I did. And whatever she decides for me, uh, death, prison, whatever, I'm going to take that. Because anything would be better than staying in Bruges. And then, I th and then the thought occurred to me, what if, what if that's what hell is? Just an eternity in Bruges. And I really hoped I didn't die. I really hoped I didn't die. And that's how it ends. Hmm. And so you don't know if he's alive or dead, if, he's, if he ever leaves Bruges, if he ever actually does go and see the boy's mother. And it's just... I, I thought that was brilliant. Those endings are often the best. So it's like it's like he may already be dead. He may already be dead. That's this fascinating. Is, yeah. That's great. And this is just it's his version of hell. Happen. Yeah. Is just staying in mm -hmm. this quiet medieval town forever. 